Konnichiwa and welcome. My name is Miss Multiconsole and welcome to One Piece Pirate Warriors. Yay! If you didn't know, this game is based off an anime, One Piece, of course. It's like one of my favourite animes at the moment. It's a really good anime. I just love the fantasy and the imagination of it. It's amazing. So I thought we would have a little go at it. I've already completed the entire game, the main story, which is here. I've already completed the entire thing. So we're going to go on another log where we can actually pick what character we want. I've decided it would be quite fun just to do like one random game a week or something like that just to mix things up a bit because my series have been going on for quite a while and it's normally like the same thing over and over again on my channel. So I just wanted to do um, some different stuff just to mix things up a bit. Anyway, we have got all these characters to choose from. This is the original One Piece, so it may lack in characters. I actually do have another two One Piece games, but I haven't played them because I don't want spoilers. I'm about 500 episodes into the anime. I've literally just got to the end of this game, which has caught up to the anime. So yeah, I got the pirate edition, like the special edition, so I have like extra costumes. So Zoro has a kimono, <laughs> he looks really cool. That's his original costume, I'm sure you've seen that one already. Then we have Nami, I have a costume for Nami as well. This is her in the strong world, I think this is like really, really revealing, but hey. <laughs> and she has a kimono, I like her kimono. Kimono is cool. And then that's her standard. And then we got um, Usopp, I don't really like Usopp too much. He just seems a bit useless to me, but hey, I've heard that he gets a lot stronger later on. Then we got Sanji the cook. So there's his kimono, very nice. <laughs> we got Chopper. Chopper's like my favourite character, he's just so cute. Tony Tony Chopper, the little doctor. There we go, he is so cute. And we got Robin, that's her normal outfit. And then here is her kimono. I really like that actually, it's nice. Then we have Frankie, but Frankie, I don't have any costumes for Frankie or Brooke or I think, oh, I do have one for Ace. That's his standard. Basically wears no clothes anyway. <laughs> and then there's his strong world where he decided to actually put clothes on. We got Boa Hancock, Snake Lady. And there's her alternative costume. Then we have Jinbei, Whitebeard and Monkey D. Luffy. Luffy has got so many costumes. Obviously he's the main character, so they gave him loads, but... All the costumes seem the same. I think only Sabody, Archie Pelago, I can't say it. They have different colours on the waistcoat. That one's blue, that one's light blue, like turquoise. That one's yellow, samurai. So that looks really cool. And the New World one is slightly different because he's got like a little sash around his waist. But yeah, as you can see, I haven't actually played a lot with many of the characters. I've only done it with Nami, Chopper and Brooke so far. But I thought the character that I want to pick today, I want to pick Brooke because I think Brooke is really awesome. He's um, he's really funny and he is a skeleton with a giant afro and he's a swordsman. Normally I'd pick a girl. I thought we would pick Brooke for a change and Brooke only has one level so we're just going to do the very first level and I've already done it before. I've done this level like a million times and I'm going to skip all the cutscenes because I've seen them like a zillion times <laughs> so I don't need to see that again and if you guys are interested in this game you've probably already watched the anime anyway <laughs> he's so funny I love Brooke he's a magician as well but most of you probably know that as you can see it's all in Japanese I don't actually think there's an option to change it to English <laughs> I love his laugh, his laugh is so funny. But yeah, this is kind of like Dynasty Warriors style. Obviously, I'm just like mashing the buttons. So, sorry if you hear me button mashing. <laughs> I 
Okay. Uh, they just sent a marine leader, so I've got, got to kill this marine leader. There we go. Um, he's done like a laser attack. His run is so funny. Look how he runs. <laughs> I love it. It's so funny. Uh, am I stuck in here? What am I doing? Oh, I have to go out this way. <laughs> I don't actually think I've seen his special, um, Brooke's special, each character has their own little special move, but I don't actually think I've seen Brooke's. So I will use that in a second, I actually have a full special bar, so I will try that out in a sec. There's the leader. Okay, there's the leader. Kill the leader. Da 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 da. Ouch. There we go. Mission complete. Now Kizaru's attack should end. There we go. Awesome. I think we have to go up this way towards the flag. The door's opening, okay. It's got to clear out this territory, I guess. Let's use our special. Let's use our special on this marine leader. Let's go over to him. Where's he going? Oh my god. <laughs> that was unexpected. So we got Rondo Full Volti, whatever that is. <laughs> I love Brooke. He is so funny. Okay take the life. Leader has appeared, another leader. Oh, this is the leader for the territory. So if I kill him, I will have this territory. Yay, we have captured this territory. That is awesome. Clear up the remaining enemies. Yeah, I've basically done most of this game. I think there's only a couple of characters that I have to do, but it's kind of like, it's kind of the same as the main story, apart from you're just playing as a different character. So it's kind of stupid that they've done that. I would prefer like separate levels or something, but I guess not. Still, it's a fun game just when you just want to, I don't know, relax, not have to worry about much, just beat up some enemies. <laughs> It's fun in that way. We have another marine leader. There we go, he's dead. Um, you can see the territory on the right, so I've nearly taken this territory over. Luffy's with me, apparently. He's helping me. Come on, die, you stupid leader. Okay, there we go. Oh, we got a pacifista. Pacifista. Can't even say it today. <laughs> the giant little government robot. I'll just kill him. Oh god, Brooke's jokes are so bad. He always makes like really stupid puns. <laughs> and they're like really bad. Uh, where do I have to go? Normally there's like little missions that I have to do. Let me just kill this guy off. Uh, we have to go up to that little flag up the top right. So I'm gonna go up here. Open the door! Is the door gonna open or not? I don't know. Hmm. Yay, the gate's open. Yay. Okay, they open. Whoa! Loads of bombs in here. Okay, there's the leader. Kill the leader and then, yay, territory captured. Okay, what do we do now? If you press start as well, you can actually look at the battle log and the army data so you can like see what just happened and who just spoke and the army data. You can look at the enemies, territory data, which parts I haven't taken over yet. Really reminds me of Dynasty Warriors. The style is definitely like it. Where do we go now? I wonder. Oh, Choppa! Choppa, I'm coming! <laughs> I love Choppa, he's so cute. Choppa, I'm coming for you, little reindeer man. He gets mad if you call him a raccoon, so don't call him a raccoon. <laughs> okay, in here. And Chopper should be in here. Where is he? There he is. Look how small he is. He's so cute. But he can go beast mode. He can go beast mode and just tear everything up. He's a crazy little reindeer. Okay. Uh, we're just going to kill kill these guys. I'll stand guard until I lie. Even though I'm already dead. Okay, we've got two marine leaders here. Mission complete. Awesome stuff. What have we got to do now? There seems to be... It seems to be quite a long level. Yay, Chopper can now be taken as my partner. Look how cute and small he is. Echo and just, oh, I just want to smush him. He sent these marine orders again. He sent them like five times now. Kizaru is so annoying. Oh, can I actually, okay, I think we can actually now go and do the final battle. Let's send Tamaru there. I can't be bothered dealing with you. <laughs> We're just gonna skip that event. I just can't even be bothered to kill you. 
I just want to go straight to Kizaru. Where is Kizaru? Ah, uh, there's a marine leader. No. I think he was like over here somewhere. Frankie's in trouble. Uh oh, Frankie's in trouble. Is he up here? Is he up here? Oh, maybe he didn't appear. What happened to all our territories? My god. Okay, well, we captured this one apparently. Territory D has disappeared. Why? I'm confused. Weird because it's like we only have one territory. I don't know where the marine leader is, so I'm just going to focus on killing the little... I mean, I don't know where Kizaru is, so I'm just going to get the marine leaders. Maybe he'll come out. Oh, hang on. Who's that over there? That might be Kizaru over there. Kizaru ended the laser attack. Awesome. Because that is kind of annoying. Victory conditions have changed. Have they? <laughs> Yay, that is Kizaru up there. So now we can actually kill the end boss. Where is he? Up here. Here we go. Here is Kizaru, the man of light. Why can't I attack it? Why can't I attack? What the hell? What happened? Did I fail? Oh my god, I failed. Okay, so let's just pretend that never happened. <laughs> I've gone through the level again. I don't know why I failed. It's so funny because the first time I ever attempted this level with Brooke, I never failed. And I think I've died like one or two times. This game is like super easy. I don't know, maybe I was just distracted or something. But the defeat conditions is Luffy is defeated. And I don't think Luffy was defeated or territory is captured. So maybe I just wasn't defending my territories enough. I don't know anyway um, as you can see I've got at least two territories so hopefully they won't go down whilst I'm killing Kizaru so now we are actually going to kill Kizaru and complete the level and not fail it <laughs> but I'm going to try and do this really quickly because I really don't know how long my territories are going to last where's he gone the only thing is he's so annoying because he has the power of light so he can literally move as fast as light and I'm sure you guys know how fast light is it's very fast Oh god, he moved, didn't he? No! I wasted my special. Oh wait, did it get him? Apparently it got him. But anyway, I'm going to use it again. This is the very first special, because there's two different um, types of specials. There's like the one you just use one bar of SP for, and then there's one that you use two bars of SP for. So that was the one you use at one bar of SP for, and you've already seen the other one. I already used the other one. But he's almost dead. Um... Guys, Kizaru. I really don't like Kizaru. He reminds me of Elvis Presley. He talks really slowly. And I don't know why. He just reminds me of Elvis Presley. Come on, just die. Just die already. Just die. Where's he gone? Okay, he's over here. There we go. He is dead. Thank God. So, we should have done the level this time. And I really want to see the part at the end because Brooke's really funny when you complete a level. Yay, we done it. <laughs> Woohoo! So I should level up. I think he leveled. I don't know. So here he goes. <laughs> I love Brooke. He is like one of the best characters. He is so funny. He's just so stupid. <laughs> That's why I like him. Okay, so you get like to pick your coins at the end. Uh, I'll keep that, keep that one, Brook coin, there we go. So yeah, he did level up, he's level 7 now, I don't even know why I need to level him, I don't really think I do, but hey, he got a new technique as well, and we're not going to watch this. So that is the end of this video, I hope you enjoyed, please comment, rate and subscribe, and I hope I'll see you next time. Even get to run.